Hello, Jade Temple sisters. Happy Monday. Happy Embodied Feminine Self-Care Practice of the Week. I'm actually here right now, live from the Jade Temple. If you can see our gorgeous Kuan Yin statue in the background. Um, so I'm really excited about this practice and this video this week. It's inspired from a coaching session I just had with one of my amazing, beautiful one-on-one uh, -on -one clients where I was sharing with her all about something that is called the vestibular bulbs. Sometimes it's also called the clitoral bulbs. And uh, since this word bulbs is like really unsexy to me, um, I've decided to rename the bulbs the pearls. So we're going to be talking about massaging the female pearls today. So what in the world are the pearls or the bulbs? Um, so they are the first layer of erectile tissue in a woman's network of erectile tissue. So Women have four different layers of erectile tissue inside of their yoni and inside of their pelvis. And the first layer of erectile tissue is the bulbs or the pearls. I'm gonna call them the pearls from now on. So um, this is really, really important for women's pleasure because again, our erectile kit tissue goes in layers from an outermost layer to an innermost layer. And if you skip any of the layers, particularly the first layer, which are the pearls, uh, then you're missing out on a lot of juiciness because the first layer affects the second layer and the second layer affects the third layer and the third layer affects the fourth layer. And if you're missing the first one, you're just uh, missing out on like literally a lot of blood flow and engorgement that gives you that feeling of being turned on and horny and hot and juicy and ready for more. So the vestibular bulbs or the pearls are located on both sides of the entrance of your vagina. They are, they're kind of like pear shaped and um, the bottom of them, which is near the entrance to the vagina, it's fatter, it's thicker, and then they get a little bit more narrow as they go up. Uh, from those of you who did Gushing Goddess, this is definitely going to be familiar to you. Um, but it's a really important uh, thing to know about women's sexuality. It's a, it's a piece of our anatomy that not a lot of women know about and that not a lot of men know about as well. Okay, so they're located on either side of the entrance to the vagina and you access them through massage. So I'm not going to actually guide a massage practice in this video, but I'm going to share with you uh, what you can do in your five minute home practice this week. So the best way to locate them is to take your fingers and kind of go like this and just put the, uh, the pads of your fingertips on both sides of the entrance to your vagina. And you can do this just now over your clothes if you want to, to begin to locate them. And you just kind of press in and you'll feel it's like a little bit spongy. If you bring your fingers out a little more, like more towards your thighs, um, then you'll start to feel like the pubic, part of the pubic bone, part of your pelvic bones actually. And then when you bring your fingers in more and more, you will get to this beautiful pearl area. So you want to spend some time here. Breathe into them. When you breathe into any part of your body, and especially a part of the body that is made up of erectile tissue, it fills with blood and with oxygen and with energy. And in order to feel more and more turned on, you can use your breath to support this. So you want to breathe into your pearls. You can even kind of squeeze and release the muscles right around your vaginal opening. This helps to like pulse the pearls. Also helps to bring in some blood flow. And then use some coconut oil or some other organic skin friendly oil with no kind of uh, sensor essential oils in them. Use some oil and just begin to massage around the entrance of your vagina but over your outer lips. So starting really, really on the outside and once you've massaged all on the outer lips around the entrance, you can begin to come up a little bit more, 
moving up more towards your clitoris, massaging really the whole outer lip area. And when you begin to massage up towards the clitoris without actually touching the shaft or the glands of the clitoris, you are massaging the legs of the clitoris, which is the second layer of erectile tissue in women. Uh, the clitoris, some of you might know, but some of you might not. The clitoris is not just like what we can see if we were to look at ourselves with a mirror. The clitoris extends into the body and actually has legs. And sometimes the, the pearls or the bulbs are considered to be part of the clitoris, although they technically are not. Um, so yeah, you want to massage all around the outer lips without even going in towards the inner lips for a couple of minutes. And then you can begin to massage in between the inner lips and the outer lips, more down towards the entrance of your vagina. Just warming up and exploring this part of you for another minute or so. And then you can begin to come up in between, again, the inner and the outer lips, moving up towards your clitoris. And then to finish off, if you feel to, and this is only if you feel to, like if you're feeling some turn on and some engorgement, uh, you can begin to actually massage around the entrance to your vagina, so inside of the inner lips. But for a lot of women, they don't like to be touched in this part until like they're really, really warmed up. So if you're not feeling really ready, if your body's not really calling for it, that's totally normal. Just spend some more time massaging these beautiful pearls and enjoy. So what I recommend to do for this is to take a timer on your phone and just set it for five minutes. This doesn't need to be like a super long and intense practice. Set it for five minutes get some oil, go into your room before you go to bed, before you take a shower, when you wake up in the morning, after your yoga practice, something like this, and spend five minutes to explore this part of your body. Sisters, I promise you, if you do this every day this week, or even three, four, five days this week, you are absolutely going to notice a difference. The thing that's really cool with the pearls is that you can feel, literally feel, with your fingers and also definitely see with your eyes if you take a mirror and look you can see when they start to become filled with blood and engorged and to me that's just like a really cool intimate uh connecting thing to begin to feel in the female body in your female body so that's the practice of the week simple and incredibly incredibly uh effective in my experience and in you know there were 135 women in gushing goddess and so many of them told me and have told me in the month since that uh, master class that just this piece of information alone has changed and transformed so much in their sexuality so many women are having more orgasms, stronger orgasms, they're squirting for the first time. It's like just absolutely amazing to see what happens when women start to get some of this basic information that in my opinion we should really be taught from the time that we are menstruating, if not before, and then when they go and practice. So I really, really encourage you to not only take this information in on a mental level, but to go practice it even right now if you have a little bit of time. If you have a partner or a lover, absolutely share this information with them. Share this information with your girlfriends. The world needs to know about the pearls, otherwise known as the vestibular or clitoral bulbs. So beauties, enjoy, feel totally, totally free to ask any questions in the comments or in this page in general. And if you're loving this, if you're feeling a big difference with this and you want more and more and more, you can actually still sign up for Gushing Goddess and get the entire full masterclass, all of the supporting materials. You'll get instant access to it, lifetime access to it, uh, sent directly to your email when you sign up. So. Sending so much love to you from the beautiful Jade Temple, from Kuan Yin, from me. I hope you have such a beautiful day. I love you. Mwah.